Hey, it's Fade. So I'm going to talk about how I try to avoid cheaters as often as possible in MM. And the answer is really simple. You choose a very, very, very popular map and you only queue that map and you only queue one map at a time. So you can choose Mirage and then queue that map. You can choose Inferno, queue that. You can choose Dust2, queue that. I think Dust2 works the best. I, honestly, I think there are less cheaters um, per game with Dust2 if you're only queuing for Dust2 than any other map. Um, so now I'm going to explain my logic. Let's say there's 100 players in queue. Let's say 10 of them are cheating. Uh, 10 of them are queued up for every map and not cheating. Uh, then like 10 more are queued up for popular maps like that and not cheating. And then 70 are queued up for only Dust 2. Obviously these are arbitrary numbers. But if you get a game of agency, well, there's a total of 20 people queued up for agency and half of them are cheaters which means one in two players is going to be cheating okay statistically speaking now what if you get you're one of these dudes that's queued up for these four maps okay because these are the most popular maps and you get inferno well those 70 dust 2 players are not in your game which means there's only 30 players that you could be with which means again one third of the players is probably going to be cheating, statistically speaking. Same with Cache, Inferno, Mirage, all that. The more maps you have queued up, but whoa, Dust 2. What if you get Dust 2? Well, now you have a 100 player map pool. That means only 10% are going to be cheating. And like I said, I'm making these numbers out of thin air, right? They're not this severe, but Dust 2 is the most popular map in MM, and you can look up statistics if you want for like most popular CSGO map, but you're gonna end up finding pro statistics like on HLTV, and those are for competitive matches or online games and shit, like competitive online. They don't include uh, MM. So you're just gonna have to take my word for this or dig really deep and find out that Dust2 is the most popular map by far. Um, and because Dust2 is the most popular, that means the most people queue up Dust2. And again, because cheaters don't give a shit what map they queue up for, they just want fast queue times, they queue up for everything. So, because cheaters queue up for everything, if you only queue for Dust2, any RNG map that's chosen that isn't Dust2 means that the cheaters have a chance of going that way. Okay? And you avoided them if they did go that way. So, if some dude, yeah, like I said, some dude's got Austria queued up and Dust2. So he's queued like this, and it goes to Austria. Everybody that only has Dust2 queued up, which is a lot of legit players, just totally dodge that. There's no... They're not going to be there. All those legit players are no longer in that game, which means that all those cheaters are now going to be oversaturated because they queued up for Austria. Um, I hope this made sense. It really works, I promise. Like I said, pick a popular map and just queue that one only, but Dust2 is the best for this. Um... Yeah, I, you could argue that like people like to hack on Dust2 because they can shoot down mid doors and stuff, but it, there's ways to do that on almost any map, right? Like you can shoot through the wall on Inferno, at Banana, you can wall bang window on Mirage and underpass and shit from Catwalk if you want. I mean, Cache, obviously there's wall bangs everywhere. Train is wall bangs everywhere. Nuke, there's wall bangs everywhere. Like <clears throat> just about every map has a ton of wall bangs. So um, it, it doesn't matter to a cheater. They don't have to wall bang. They can just kill you. Uh, but yeah. Peace out.